What is this title card? This whole thing has been like a movie. Armin. I still can't believe it. I feel like on some level he did know, but he had to go along with it. Ah, <gasps> oh, this guy. I, I don't think he really cares. He knew his father. Oh? <laughs> he made it. Took out all the titans on his way, no less. Rescue you. One thing I noticed about Zeke, I think his name is, he slips right into this classic villain mistake, which actually I think is a classic human mistake, where he attributes the actions of others to stupidity. There's a supreme arrogance to what he believes. I mean, there actually is brainwashing in the kingdom, but we saw that when the scouts were charging, he could not accept that it was anything honorable because he had already sort of put them in a box. He put them in a category of like, lesser. And from there, once he's put himself on a pedestal, he can justify all sorts of things. And he sort of masks that behind this concern or pity or whatever. But that's not really what it is. It's it's arrogance. And it might even be fear. Fear of what they're capable of or fear that they actually could be onto something. They could have some value. The fact that Erwin and his troops showed valiant behavior made him angry. You know, that says a lot. Here we are on this roof. I feel so bad for Levi. He must feel so responsible. And he was trying to do a good thing too. And I just know that that act of kindness is going to have terrible repercussions for the show. Zeke is not somebody you want out there, obviously. And Levi's very aware of that. And even worse, it was a promise he made to Erwin. And so he's going to he's gonna torture himself over this until he can fulfill his promise. But I empathize so much because it was a good thing at heart that he was trying to do, I think. He was thinking about how to save Erwin. I can't really fault him for it. And I feel like that's something that's been building for a very long time. Like we've seen all these snapshots of Levi's inner kindness that he's been hiding. There it just seemed like after watching everybody die like that, watching Erwin die, it was just too much. He was looking for something, anything he could do that would bring Erwin back. And because I love the fact that he has heart, you know, he's one of the few characters who actually has something warm. I'm, I'm just dreading what's to come for him, getting the, the punishment of that, the self-punishment and also the, the punishment of whatever comes next with Zeke. Hey, it's okay. <gasps> is he alive? Oh, please. Midnight Sun. Oh, and the... They have the... The injections. Reiner's still alive. Amazing. Not for long, though, probably. To Krista? A letter to Krista from Ymir? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ymir is a really big wild card for me still. There's this implication that Reiner and Bertholdt have been brainwashed. I don't think that's the full story, but Ymir does not seem to have been, like, raised as a child soldier like them, right? So, she's got her reasons. I'll bet the letter will be big for Krista. Glad you're alive, Hanji. Very good to see you. So many questions. She's in charge now, right? I don't think she's gonna execute him. <laughs> Even in death, Erwin's plans. Ooh, this is dangerous though. I think I know what Levi and Mikasa and Aaron are gonna fight about. It's gonna be something about this. <laughs> also the person's memories, right? Check off syringe. I mean, I feel like you could move Reiner, no? He's not really fighting back right now. Yeah, I don't falter for this, but it doesn't seem right. Yeah, and Hanji's all about knowledge, too. Maybe never. Let's face it. Yeah, we need to establish some communication between the two groups. Figure this out. Make a decision. Yeah, that's some, that seems like a more solid plan. There's no reason to panic that I can see. <laughs> Alright. There are like four people alive now. So, basically everyone is a leader. <laughs> John John is like third in command, all of a sudden. Oh yeah, she doesn't know about Armin. 
They're gonna want to save Armin. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That's Reiner's death signal. No, get out of there. Oh no, I was talking about there's no reason to panic. They're still around. I thought they had fled. Oh my god, if they eat the... If they eat Reiner too. Oh no. Armor Duck Titan. Connie, not by yourself. No, 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 I'm, I cannot... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good order, Hanji. Similar to Levi. But no, he didn't do anything terrible. It's not terrible just because it didn't work out. Just because it, it went wrong doesn't mean that their decision was wrong. You just never know. Is he still alive? Oh no, it gets worse and worse. <laughs> Armin or Erwin? Oh no, this is awful. I I honestly am stumped. I have no idea what you do in this situation. I think one possible way to think about it is that Erwin has more value, but I don't really think that that, that matters so much. I think looking at this strategically in this situation is a, is a little bit weird and misses some of the more human elements of it. Although then again, since there's no clear answer, maybe that is the way. Maybe you give it to the person who has the lowest chance of survival in your best estimation. I mean, both of them have a pretty low, low chance. You don't kill each other though. You don't kill each other. That just makes it worse. That's, that's obviously not the way. Roxas or paper. I mean... <laughs> I can't believe I just said that, but does it have to be the full syringe? Rice Titan got there by a little lick. If you could get there by a little a little taste, can you split the injections? That's I guess that's just not the, the rules of this scenario. I don't know. I really don't know. How to make close friends and comrades enemies in about two seconds. Yeah, well his choice was clear. But Aaron and Mikasa's choice also clear. Things have changed. So he'll disguise that as being a tactic, but he just loves Erwin. That's really what it is. <sighs> Damn. Alright, I feel like this is actually really important as a mid-roll screen. This is not crackers. Yeah, well that we already knew. I guess my questions are about the dosage. <laughs> I'm really hanging on for a chance that they can both come back, even though this is not that show. It's not that show. And this is the ending scene we saw. Mikasa is going to attack. He says that, but he's not doing that either. Yeah, he's been very weakened. I mean, they're both big brains. It's not like Armin is, is a nothing, strategically. Right, right. Yeah, that's a good point. Very brave, stepping up to Mikasa like that. Yeah, they didn't see. The perfect game. And both Erwin and Armin sacrificed themselves to make sure that their side of the plan worked. They're very similar. The parallels are greater than I thought. In fact, they seem to be setting up for this exact thing. Yes, this is who we need in this situation. This is perfect. What do you say, Hanji? We're all here now. Gotta experience the Armin reaction again and again. That was the perfect push. <laughs> that was the greatest push of all time. <laughs> oh no. They were inseparable too.
I feel like Aaron will be a tougher sell though. Hanji was the perfect person for that. For me, I think that was her best moment so far. I think she's thinking about it in, in a better way because they're all coming at it from, you know, a pros and cons angle. But like I said, I think that's not really how they're experiencing it. And that strips it of, of the, the humanity of the situation. This is not a tactical thing, right? This is an emotional thing for all of them. I think pretty much all of them would forego a strategic advantage to bring back the, the person they cared about. No matter what they're saying on the outside about the future of humanity or whatever, I don't think that's the primary motivation, even if it's part of the motivation. But I think the important focus is that this is just terrible. That's just what it is. And they didn't do this. And it's going to continue to get more terrible. And they just have to make a choice. To kill each other, to tear each other's throats out, it just makes it so much worse. So Hanji did a great job showing that they're all in the same exact place. The decision is sort of less relevant, I think. My mind first went to rock, paper, scissors, and that's that sounds very flippant and stupid in light of the situation, but I almost think a chance-like thing would be the only option. And in a sense, their seniority is that chance thing. <laughs> I guess he's pretty beat up. It's not that Liba doesn't care about Armin. I don't think that's it. Oh, speaking of Aaron Psyche, this might be the end of the road for Aaron. The guy just can't catch a break. <laughs> he was right. Seems like he's struggling. What is his choice? Seems like he just made peace with Erwin's death. Like I said a couple episodes ago, Erwin did fulfill his purpose, even if it wasn't what he said it was. You know, it wasn't the basement, but in a sense, he sort of went all the way. Like, he, he made it to the end of what Erwin was, and it was glorious. So, it's not that he has unfinished business. Whoa! He saved Armin. Colossal Armin? <laughs> wow. Wow, what a relief for, for Eren. Oh yeah, sorry, Berthold. <laughs> I haven't even been considering Berthold at all. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the, the great things about that scene with him and Levi. Erwin was clearly suffering. You know, it, it's been that question the whole time, like, does Erwin actually care about the, the scouts? And the answer is, he cares so much. It weighs on him extremely heavily. I kind of get it. Like, it doesn't feel like Erwin's life was cut short. He feels like he did exactly what he needed to do. Even without his leadership, I feel like another great thing he did while he was alive was he set up the scouts to continue. Like, I'm not sure that they need him in the same way anymore, especially with everything that's going to change after these episodes. If I'm being totally honest, though, I was sort of hoping for Colossal Erwin, but I get it. Armin has a lot more to live, and I'm relieved that Armin is, is not dead. <laughs> Sympathy for Levi, too. What a choice to have to make. Armin's got abs, too. They all got abs. Wow. Great movie. <laughs> a fantastic movie. What an arc, man. What an arc. Just absolutely phenomenal. Pretty much flawless. Like, everything from the, the scenarios themselves, the choices they make. Intense character drama that resolves or sort of completes a lot of arcs, pays off a lot of the, the hints about them, the buildup. The music is top tier. Music, best music in the show so far, I think. The action, some of the moments, like Levi attacking the Beast Titan, just so satisfying. Like, it's rare to get action sequences that are that gratifying for what you want. About the choice, you know, I was conflicted, but I feel like after watching the episode, Levi did the right thing. I said earlier that Erwin's death doesn't feel tragic to me. It just feels sad because it feels to me like he made it, like he made it all the way there. And Armin also had an element of that though, you know, like he, he became someone great. He worked out a lot of the, the things that he had problems with. He had things he truly cared about. But I guess there's a little bit extra element of tragedy just because he was so young. His star was rising, you know, and his life got cut short. So in that sense, I, I feel it was a good choice to bring Armin back. But I don't think it's really clear either way. I don't think there's a, a right answer. There are the strategic arguments for them, but I feel like that's sort of a wash. And it doesn't really matter to me anyway in terms of, like, matters of the heart, you know? Which I think is where they were actually operating. Because on the Erwin side, you have the fact that he was a great commander, has a lot of experience. The scouts will probably continue in some capacity. On the side of Armin, he has that potential. And also, it means a lot to Aaron, who's very important, right? So that that's important strategically. But 
who knows, you know, who knows? I think the person who's most correct in this episode is Hanji because Hanji is getting to actually what it is. It's sad no matter what. And the answer to that is to band together, not be torn apart and to focus on making the best of that situation, whatever that is, not making things worse. She connected on a level of sympathy, which to me was more meaningful than the conversation they were having about logistics in that moment. As if any of them were really talking about logistics anyway. That's not what they were talking about. They were just finding arguments to support the things that they already wanted for emotional reasons. One positive outcome of this though, is I think Levi, really showed compassion for not just Armin but for Eren and Mikasa and all the the younger the younger class the younger scouts by being able to put those personal desires aside and so you hope that this actually brings them even closer together ultimately like I think the resolution to that was in some sense positive maybe that's the answer maybe that's why Armin is the right choice because Levi was able to make a sacrifice he was able to sacrifice his own desire to show concern and love for others that's a value that's a virtue in a sense he took responsibility for the decision and then acted in a way that was not selfish and so he gave everyone a great gift by doing that because now Erwin's death it's not on his hands of course but that's something he'll always carry with him very complex stuff but let's remember who put us in this situation it was this horrible beast man Zeke and his disgusting duck faced friend oh and Reiner's alive too that's a surprise although Reiner probably will not survive for long I guess you know weirdly as as bizarre and insane and terrible as these episodes were I feel like somewhat somewhat positive by the ending of it because we got Colossal Armin to look forward to. Colossal Armin and a tight-knit squad. I wonder what the scouts will be like now. I wonder if there will even be scouts. And I wonder what the letter is for, for Historia. We'll have to see. But yeah, that's the end of this three-part amazing arc. I'm sure we got lots of good stuff to come still.